Hi Lipa TD viewers Today we are going to see some interesting topics related with file upload Yeah, everyone know in Normally in Gmail or some Facebook You are uploading the files right Like photos, videos That uh, it is possible by you are adding as a normal client or normal customer you don't know what's the things going in the back end so let me see in general how to upload the file using asp.net yeah we can use that asp.net control in html how to upload the file into the website or into the database let me see how it is here the toolbox you just go and drag and drop you can drag and drop the controls there is a file load in that standard one and these are the things lot of things is given in toolbox is a validation control this we discussed previously and this is a dynamic data it's like pointing or charts this is a advanced thing i will show you with shishar tutorial now we are going to add the file upload control here there is a tag called ASP semicolon file upload is a tag for the file upload control file upload control is normally used to fetch the files from the local computer or some drive here I am pausing the IDS file upload one to get or uh, you get that details in the server side we are using the runner server to get this or we can access this file upload in the server side so we are using the runner server that already i shown you normally the file upload is used to fetch the files not it's not uh, uh, directly saving into the file we need to write some codes in backend to save that i will show you how it's working this is the easy things you can learn this is just a browser it's like what are the files in your desktop i'm just running this application and i will show you the things it's a normal just to browse it won't save anywhere it just browse and keep it in this tag that means in this control then we need to add something like button or some click key events to pause this file or need to be saved in some particular folder that let me see how it works sorry this is a previous things i forgot to delete this is a previous tutorial uh, i did if you want any doubt just go back and check it out our tutorials now I running this application here it's going to display that browse option something called choose file like this so you can easily understand for the purpose I just drag and drop or you can add throw tag by adding throw code is bit easier to learn if you drag and drop you don't know what the things going in back end yeah now you can understand this is a choose file and it's showing in right hand side there is no file chosen just i am sample i'm choosing some files from desktop folder something called close close.png now I am going to add one button control to save this browsed file into some folder xy is that folder in our web server that means our server root path I am giving one root path for example I am just creating one folder in this root directory 
and I am tell them to save this file into that folder. Let me see how it works. I am just adding one bottle control and giving some ID and Ronald server and giving some text called summit or something easily to pronounce it. Okay. And just double click to generate the click event and just double clicking and it's generating on click event click event uh, if you have any doubt what is a click event you just go through our previous videos here uh, I am just adding this ID this is a browser ID file uploader its name is file upload uh, I am just adding this ID and place a dot you can find dot save us actually that file upload file is save us I am just creating one folder in this root directory example we given the name as uploads that is good right you can easily understand if you are a beginner I am just giving save as equal to server dot map path I am going to in this is a server actually this is a root directory is a server and uh, map path where to path this file so here I am pausing that string for example if you want to uh, locate in this upload folder so I am giving tilt symbol tilt is for it will directly access from the root directory so we using this and upload plus I am going to add the file name as whatever there in that uploaded file so file of uploaded file dot file name I am giving as file name it will save as it is oops I am getting somewhere ok actually the easy way is I am just given the equal actually save as we need to be save in as bracket that actually the thing I will show you you can easily understand if you have any error like this you, um, if you Delete that if you click the open bracket you can see this file name right yes this is a file name that is a file path we are giving just uh, there is some clue given by this Microsoft you can easily understand and rectify this problem okay now there is no error I'm just saving and running this application let me see how it works now I'm going to browse on file from our my local directory in desktop something called close button this is a png image i am browsing i say sarah and given summit uh, it's loading yeah now it's submitted but there is no issue because we are not added anything and just to re refresh this application yes in the upload folder that close.png is added right yeah in simple way we can add this kind of files into whatever the files example want to add html there is no restriction here if you want to know that how to contain uh, restrict the um, size on that dot pdf only we need to add like that means you go through our previous video i will show you that also in our uh, latter sessions thanks for watching guys please subscribe our channel for more videos enjoy our videos Please comment out and help us to grow more. Thank you guys.